capital of the nation of Tuvalu is on Fungofale Island, Funafuti Atoll. 6,000 people live here. This is the center of Tuvalu's government. There are no mountains, rivers, or lakes in Tuvalu. The average altitude is 1.5 meters. This is an island nation that is one of the most vulnerable places on Earth. The effects of global warming. The island has short runways and piers that are used for bringing food and supplies. There is little industry, and tourists rarely visit. People of Tuvalu have lived in harmony with the severe and beautiful natural world of the South Pacific. The islander's lifestyle does not create large amounts of the carbon dioxide that is the cause of climate change. But since the late 1980s, the effects of rising sea levels have become apparent in Tuvalu. These effects started with the salinization of well water and taro fields, and then the increase of coastal erosion and the welling up of sea water in the inland places of the islands. Damage caused by cyclones has also increased. Houses have been erased by strong winds, and sometimes the entire island has been inundated by the sea. With this crisis as the backdrop, we began work in Tubaru in 2006 with the mangrove tree planting project. Mangroves are evergreens that grow well in strong sunshine and brackish water. There is an established root mangrove forest on Tubaru that is suitable as a starting place for artificial mangrove forest planting. Seedlings can be harvested there and transplanted to other locations around the islands for transplantation. Mangroves are an excellent countermeasure against the adverse effects of climate change. They serve to absorb the energy of waves and ameliorate the damage caused by cyclones. Mangrove roots create a tangled web and grip the sand and help increase land area. The visible part of the mangrove above the ground can carbonize and fix carbon dioxide. And the mangrove's root system, the part that is underground, also serves to trap carbon. Mangroves have four times the carbon dioxide absorption capacity of ordinary trees and eight times their storage fixing capacity. Mangrove forests are also ideal habitat and breeding grounds for a wide variety of creatures. Transplanting mangroves is easy and this activity is a great way to raise consciousness about the environment. Coral atolls like Tuvalu do not have the brackish water ecosystems that mangroves thrive in. However, through careful site selection, a mangrove forest can be created. Pocket-shaped sandy beaches that face shallows and have a gentle marine flow are excellent candidates for artificial mangrove forests. The best sites are surrounded by abundant vegetation, where the thickness of the soil is 30 centimeters or more and the surface of the site is muddy. Planting mangrove is quite simple. One makes a hole around 15 centimeters deep with a hard stick and plants three seedlings. After putting the sand back around the new seedlings, one should compact it so that the seedlings stay in place. The mangrove seedlings should be planted in a grid at intervals of 50 centimeters. It is useful to mark a string with these intervals for planting. Planting at equal intervals increases the young forest resistance to incoming waves. Because the ecosystem is not the brackish water type, the mangroves grow slowly at first, but can reach waist height in about a year. After three years, the roots emerge, and at high tide, fish will gather and the young forest will provide habitat for fish. After about 10 years, their height will exceed five meters and the mangrove will begin to bloom. Our organization has worked with local volunteers and we have planted over 116,000 trees in the last 15 years. While some seedlings have washed away by high waves during cyclones or have died due to drought, many have thrived and forests have emerged. 
The mangrove planting project has been featured on the cover of IPCC report and in other media. It has become a model for good adaptation measures for climate change and a sustainable future. We are doing something to help save our motherland rather than just talking about it or um, like advocating, but people are actually taking actions for it. And